What's up everyone, it's yours truly, Fit City. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu comes out this Friday. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I will be live streaming on YouTube. I thought about doing Twitch, but I'm going to do YouTube so all you guys can hang out with me. And uh, make sure you have the notification bell on so you don't miss that live stream coming this Friday when the game comes out. Now, I said I was going to mention some statistics for Meltan and Melmetal. Both articles I'm going to go over today will be linked down in the description. So, yes, we do have a leak for this bad boy right here. How the stats are going to be incorporated. Now, this is actually going to be for the main series. Well, not main series game. But for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. The HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed. Overall total is going to be 300. Those are the stats for Meltan. And here are the stats for Melmetal. Its attack and defense are incredible. So is its HP. Special attack, not so much. Special defense, not so much. Speed is very low, but it comes in at a legendary type stat of 600. Now, here's the thing though. We don't know how well Melmetal is going to perform in any of the meta at all. Especially when this game is a lot more simplified than in the main series game. Um, my guess is though these stats are pretty solid and it's going to be one of the best steel type Pokemon in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. It probably actually, let, let's be honest, it's going to be the best steel type. Now, how does this go over into uh, Pokemon Go? So at level 40, it will have a CP of 3573. Not bad, right? Base attack is 226. That's not bad either. Base defense is 190. Okay, with a 15 IV, that means it's 205. And a base stamina of a whopping 260. Now that's incredible. Overall, this is a very extremely well-rounded, very well evened out steel type Pokemon for Pokemon Go. And it's going to be extremely good, especially when it gets its move set. Now we already know it has a double, or it has a uh, steel move, an exclusive steel move called like Double Iron Bash or something like that. And it's probably going to deal a lot of damage and be a very powerful move. So I expect it to be a very powerful move in Pokemon Go as well, making Mel Metal one of the best steel types that's ever going to exist in the universe for Pokemon Go. Um, and if you have the Switch, which I'm going to go into here pretty soon, how to transfer, uh, if you have the Switch, you're going to be able to get as many Mel Metal as you want because you're going to be able to get as many Meltan as you want due to the integration in between and getting the special item to spawn Meltan for 30 minutes straight. Um, there's not really much else to go over with this, but uh, like I said, the link to the description for this article, so if you can kind of look at it and memorize a little bit, will be in the description. I think I said that a thousand times. Now, here's the bread and butter though of this video. How to connect and transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go. And I highly suggest that you save this or look back at this article a few times before Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu come out because it is a process and I'm just going to briefly go over it and then of course you can come back to the article and look over it later. So here is how to connect Pokemon Go to Let's Go. You tap the Pokeball icon, this is in Pokemon Go, then you go to your settings, scroll down and tap Nintendo Switch. There will be a button on here, you can see it right there, Nintendo Switch. Tapped connect to switch, which is the Nintendo switch now. It sounds pretty straightforward, and I hope it is uh, We'll have to see I mean the game comes out in four days now how to connect uh, How to connect let's go to Pokemon go so you press the X button to open the pause menu and then press Y to open the settings click the Pokemon go uh, probably icon or button um, It will ask you if you would like to pair with Pokemon go and of course you hit yes it will verify the trainer you're connecting with. If it is correct, hit yes. You should be able, or you should be successfully connected. And it looks like there's some kind of uh, some kind of new user interface here with these pictures. So there'll be some uh, steps to follow through and some user interface changes. Looks like they're gonna happen. Now, how to send a Pokemon from Go to Let's Go? Well, you tap the ball icon and you tap Pokemon. Tap the Nintendo Switch icon under the right hand corner. Um, okay, I see it right there. Uh, select your Pokemon to send. Long press to select as if you're going to transfer. After you select your Pokemon to send, you'll be prompted with a message asking, do you want to send this Pokemon? Well, of course. You'll be asked if you're sure, if you're certain, press OK. So, if you accidentally press a Pokemon, you hit yes, and it's going to ask you if you're sure. Like, you could have accidentally hit a Pokemon, think it's the one that you're going to send, 
and then ask if you're sure and you realize, oh wait, this isn't the one I meant to send. So that's actually a pretty good uh, thing for Niantic to do, or well, I should say the Pokemon company like as a whole, Game Freak. Uh, that, that's pretty smart. And it says you will get a message saying that the Pokemon has been sent and you will receive one candy per Pokemon sent. That's incredible. So if you send a Pokemon that you could use a few more, you know, candies for, like Chansey for Blissies and Gyms, even though the CP rework should be coming anytime soon, I have no idea what's going on with that. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty nice. One candy, hey, it all adds up in the long run, right? So this is kind of the process here. Uh, tap the Pokeball icon right here at the bottom. Go to Pokemon. Uh, click, hit the switch button. Long press here. Uh, it says, do you want to? Are you sure? Is it okay? Boom, and that's gonna say, hey, you did it. So, woo, there we go. <laughs> um, how to receive Pokemon in Let's Go. So, of course, you set the Pokemon, now how do you receive it? In Pokemon Go Park, which is a place you have to go to, speak to the receptionist and select Bring Pokemon. Select an area to send the Pokemon to, so there's multiple areas apparently. Select Pick Up. You'll be asked if you wish to receive the Pokemon, select yes. You will get a screen saying the Pokemon has been received, and there's a list saying where it's from, and uh, that is Pokemon Go. This must be the CPs, maybe? I'm not sure, but obviously there's more user interface uh, changes there. Uh, restrictions. It should be known that once you send a Pokemon to Let's Go, you cannot return it back to Pokemon Go. Once a Pokemon is sent from Let's Go, its stats will re-roll as if it has been traded. I did not know that. Certain Pokemon will not be allowed to be sent to Let's Go from Pokemon Go. These are mostly event Pokemon, but mythical Pokemon cannot be sent either. Meltan and Melmel are the exception to this rule. Okay, since Meltan and Melmel being released with this game, you can send Poke like Melmetal and Meltan uh, from Let's Go into Pokemon Go, it looks like. And you can send uh, Meltan and Melmel and Pokemon Go to Let's Go, right? Pokemon not be allowed to send to Let's Go from Pokemon Go. Those are mostly event Pokemon. Um, well, the only reason why I say that you can send Mel Mel Meltan into Pokemon Go is because we're supposed to gift one Pokemon, new Pokemon, which is Meltan, to Pokemon Go. You guys seen the trailer, that box, that gift that pops up saying, and you'll get an exclusive reward from Pokemon Let's Go. That's Meltan. So, uh, that'll be a one-time thing to get Meltan in Pokemon Go. But uh, it looks like when you catch more Meltan and evolve it into Mel Metal in Pokemon Go, you can send that, even though it's a mythical Pokemon, into Pokemon Let's Go. So that's nice. I like that. They made an exception for the new Pokemon, as they should. So here's some of the Pokemon you can't send. I mean, obviously, the special edition Pokemon. Uh, special edition right here. And then Mew, because you get Mew with Pokeball Plus anyway. And there's a really good picture of that. Wow, that looks great. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Did this help you out? Uh, are you excited for me to live stream Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu? I'm super excited. I'll be doing a lot more videos covering both games because they do interlace within each other. Um, I'm super excited. Smash that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you don't want to miss that live stream because it's going to be a ton of fun. And I'm definitely going to grind and get through quite a lot of it. Uh, I, I'm super excited, and uh, yeah, so that's it with your boy Fit City. I'm signing off. I see you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.